Hey folks, this is Russ, Lid Crown, sitting in the dark on my front porch. It's about 1.30 in the morning. Decided to have a late evening pipe. Because, well, before I get to the because, let's start with this. I got, and I know you're not going to be able to see this in the kind of dark I have, but it's Lifesaver which is a Burley Blend Cherry Aromatic from Just For Him, my local tobacconist. And I'm smoking it in my Leonessa, which is kind of a cool pipe. A little style, stylized rustication there, otherwise smooth, nice grain. I just started this bowl up, so need a little bit more light in it. It does have a good cherry flavor. It's not Hobbit's Weed, but it's not bad. I was looking to see if they had something that was a competitor. This isn't, but I'll live with it. So anyway, now the because. Uh, I'm up late because I just got down here so I could go to work. And look, there's a box. And this box came to me from B&B &B Tobacconist. This was that Groupon that was going around. And I don't know if this Groupon is still available. But if it is, you should partake of it because it's a good deal. I think it was $49 bucks for $100 worth of merchandise. So, oh, let me dive in. Because I don't even remember what all I got. Pretty sure it was all cigars, but let's see. Mmm. It's already starting to come through better in this. It's pretty good. Alright. Not going to be a room note in this, obviously. There's... I'm probably going to wish I had a flashlight out here. We'll see what happens. Another package there. Ooh, look at all the stuff in here. Oh! B&B &B tobacco matches. Very nice. Pillows. What's out there? My invoice. I guess I can consult my invoice if I need to. Find out what all I got. All right. So first thing is a box. This is a wood box too, which is kind of cool. Of Perdomo 10th Anniversary Preserve Cigars. What's kind of interesting about this, about these is, one, I forgot that I ordered them, but two, I had a friend in town visiting from North Carolina, and he's kind of a cigar buddy. And we got to smoke a cigar. He gave me an Ave Maria to smoke this weekend for the 4th of July, which was highly enjoyable. And, excuse me while I enjoy this cherry aromatic. And he also gave me this stick right here, which you can't really see, but it's a Perdomo Reserve 10th Anniversary. And he didn't know about the other box, and I didn't know he was giving me this, so there you go. Fates wanted me to have Perdomo.
I'm kind of curious to break into this little wooden box. I've never gotten cigars in a wooden box before. Let me check this out. Wooden boxes are cool. So are Leonessa pipes, by the way. Pretty inexpensive, too. I think I paid $24 or something like this. Brand new from uh, Pipes and Cigars. Cool. You can't see it, but there's some great lightning and stuff over there. Just imagine a nice storm kind of brewing off in the distance. And, uh, yeah, there's some more there. No rain or anything. Just cool lightning show. So I'm opening my box of cigars to flashes of lightning. Ooh. So, I took a wrap off it. Here's the box again. Cool looking box. Let's see, and if we open the box, we see a variety of sticks. Two each of three different kinds. We have the 10th Anniversary Reserve, uh, the 10th Anniversary Reserve um, Sun Grown. And the 10th anniversary, 10th anniversary Reserve Noir. So that's what's in there. We have uh, the Sun Grown over here. The standard there in the middle. 10th Anniversary. And the Noir over here. So that's very cool. And uh, this one he gave me is the, the middle one. The 10th Anniversary. So the, the plain old one. Whatever. Or the Champagne I think it is. Champagne. Yeah, Champagne. That's the one. This video is going to go on way too long for what it is. But I'm not going to edit it. So, if you watch it, you watch it. If you don't, you don't. Well, I kind of got a weird, weird Yankovic thing going on. Start doing Amish Paradise, right? Yeah, that'll go over well. You know it won't. Okay. So let's see, I also got these here. The little uh, Ziploc. What do we got here? Oh, I know what these are. I love these. These are Drew Estate Java Lattes. Yep. I love the Java Latte. Oh, yeah. Super creamy. Very nice. And there's four of those. Four, four, four. All for me. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And then, I got these. Alright. These are all cased. Now, let's see, we've got, oh, I remember what these are. These are liquor-infused sticks. We've got a, uh, yeah, this one is uh, Forty Creek. Forty Creek, I believe, is a Canadian whiskey. Yeah, 40 Creek Canadian Whiskey Infused Cigar. That's kind of cool. It's got the little tube. And then here's a Hops Craft Beer Cigar. Also in the little tube. We got, oh yeah, Grand Manier. Grand Manier. One of my favorite liquors of all. We have a Patron. Patron for the tequila aficionados out there. A 
And last but not least, and you can tell by the, the dip on the top that that there's a maker's mark. Maker's mark. Oh yeah. I, I gotta say I'm not really a fan of maker's mark in the whiskey department. But a maker's mark cigar is probably gonna be pretty good. Yeah. So anyway, I had a really busy 4th of July. This whole weekend has been nuts. And I'm kind of looking forward to going back to work so I can take a break from life for a while. Which seems kind of weird to say because you shouldn't be going back to work to settle down. But after the weekend I've had, that's what's going to happen. This bowl seems to be burning a little bit hot. You know, that seems to be what happens with aromatics, but what are you going to do? It still tastes pretty good. While I was up at my uh, local tobacconist, I also managed to pick up, since I'm sitting here talking and smoking, <laughs> um, some of this, which is Shortcut to Mushrooms, which is an excellent blend. You've probably heard other people talk about this particular blend. And it just happens to be my local shop's blend, which is awesome. And then I was digging around on their tin shelf and I've got a picture of their tin shelf over on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you should follow me on Instagram because I'm about to have a contest. The next video I do is going to be my contest video and I'm doing it on both YouTube and Instagram. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, the lead crayon, you might want to go over there and check it out. I always follow you back too if you follow me. So cool. Anyway, I was digging around on their shelf. I, I wasn't really finding anything like that jumped out at me. But buried behind some other stuff, some Dunhill stuff, I found this. Which is J.F. Germain's Balkan Sobrani. And I've been hearing a lot about this blend. And I hear that it's really excellent. So I can't wait to try this. I've already cracked the tin open and taken a whiff of it. It's got, it's got a really interesting smell to it. You can sort of, it smells a little bit like Latakia, but it's much more of the Balkan sort of oriental that's in here. And I've never had a blend anything like it, so I'm really looking forward to it. And I'll be doing a video of that, and uh, probably a review of Balkan Sobrani coming up this week. Stay tuned! So anyway, I also have, I can't show it to you yet, because I think I may have already like shown too much just in that little flip. But in, there's a box here, and I may be like covering over this in the video, but because I finally bought myself a really nice pipe. Now I, I have a 7 LA, which is a really nice pipe, but this is an even nicer pipe. I actually spent like serious money on this. Um, knowing that I was getting a good deal, but even so. So I'll also be doing a reveal of what this is too. I've been dying to reveal this so I can crack it open and start using it. But I'm so happy to have been able to just be reckless one day and buy a new pipe that um, I want to hold on and do another video of it. And um, <laughs> the, the circumstances around buying the pipe are kind of interesting. But this video has already gone way too long, so I'm going to wait till I do another one, and I'll do a much shorter video when I reveal this particular pipe. So, um, if you see lots of like weird black like cutouts, or if you don't see this part of the video at all, um, then you'll know that I sh I revealed too much. But anyway, I hope everyone had a wonderful Fourth of July, whether you're in the United States and we're celebrating Independence Day or you just happen to have a wonderful Friday and I hope you had a fantastic weekend that followed and since this video is coming up really fast on 15 minutes I'm gonna let you all go hope we had a good smoke together and uh, look forward to talking to you all again very very soon take care <laughs>